I am so happy to be in Jamaica, aka home of legends, aka home of Bob Marley. When I came to Jamaica, one of my main aim was to just finally out of the airport. Babe, guess what? What? I just wanna breathe the air that yeah, Bob Marley. <laughs> I just can't believe that I'm in Jamaica. You don't understand. I just feel like being Jamaican is a flex. So Jamaicans, let me know, how does it feel to be you? Because being from the same home that Bob Marley and so many other legends are from, my God, I, it's too much. So the most exciting thing about today is that we have been invited to Bob Marley's house for breakfast. Oh my God, mama, we made it. <laughs> Hey guys, we have just been in. We, 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 I'm confused. Oh, we are. Uh, okay, compose yourself. We have been invited to Bob Marley's place for breakfast. This is the most excited I've been since I've come to Jamaica. See, I'm, I'm even forgetting where I am. I'm even forgetting where I am. Oh my god, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so. Um, we just came down i got into my uber and then the uber driver is like uh, are you african i'm like yeah why he's like your accent i'm like i never thought my accent is that deep like for you anyone to know where i'm from but oh well it's a good thing he could tell me just my accent um yeah so i tell him i'm from kenya and he says he needs an african woman so do you want to show yourself so african women can reach you if you need an african woman woman Blessings. Uh huh. So, you need an African woman. What are you looking for? Nice, intelligent woman. Hard working like myself. And why do you want an African? Because I am African too. No, you're not Jamaican. A Jamaican is African. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, you know, you know, I have women who just want Jamaican men. So, there you go, guys. How do they reach you? Eight seven six eight nine seven three four one eight. Wow, he actually just gave his number. I thought you were gonna give like your Instagram handle or something. No, I don't. I'm not on Instagram. Wow. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> he wants an African woman, and he's given his number. <laughs> so soft. So soft. Here we go, baby. Yes, finally. <laughs> I'm just so excited. I am very, very excited. And I'm being told that there's going to be a concert at night. This is just morning, during the day. Nighttime, there's a Bob Marley con. Yani, yo. Oh, this is one of my best days in Jamaica. If you love Bob Marley like me, please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. I was hoping I would go with like a Bob Marley shirt or t-shirt but unfortunately uh, there's no time we were told yesterday evening it was really late now it's about 8 a.m. in the morning and there's just no time to go and shop for a Bob Marley shirt but that would have been amazing you know so I checked my closet and I saw I checked my closet and I saw this outfit that I had already and it has uh, Jamaican colors which Bob Marley used to wear a lot so I thought why not so this will do <laughs> what do you guys think but I can't leave here without getting a Bob Marley shirt or something like I've got to even if I get it today I have to it's Bob Marley to get it come to the Bob Marley Museum. So as soon as they arrive, we notice police standing at the entrance. Freaked me out a little, but uh, I realized they were just here to maintain law and order. Nothing serious. I hope we are allowed to film. Yep guys this is it this is bob marley's house yeah oh my god this is where he lived for some of his life as well as where his movie was shot 
this is amazing i can imagine bob marley being inside this walls you know years ago i can imagine him creating music i wonder if he knew he would have such a big impact on the world wow drop a comment let me know as we celebrate bob marley's birthday today which of his songs is your favorite and why for me my all-time favorite song is you know one love because <laughs> it calls us all to unite and to love each other in spite and despite of our differences we are one people and it goes with the motto of jamaica out of many one people you see me So I got this clip of Bob Marley playing football in this very location and I was like, wow, I guess this was really his house. <laughs> you know, it's just that sometimes when you're talking about legends, like sometimes it feels like they were really not real. But when you come where they have been and you see the proof and you touch the house that he actually lived in, unfortunately, we have not been allowed to go inside and film. Um, but I'm just very happy to be in the same compound and to be allowed to film everywhere else apart from inside the house. This is amazing. Hi. Hello, hi. How are you doing? I'm fine. Good to right, Welcome to Bob Marley Day. Thank you. Sadly, Bob Marley died on May 11th, 1981, leaving a significant legacy in music and culture. My life is only important if me can help plenty of people. If me, if me, my life is just me, my own security, then me don't want it. My life is for people. Therefore, February 6th is recognized as Mali Day, which is to recognize Bob Marley's peace activism and influence on music. <laughs> Each other's kids, you guys. Neptune so Basic cute. School. Let's hear it for them one more time. So cute. So we just arrived here. Okay. And uh, I think we are on time. Sure. Be more So we've got a couple of schools from around Jamaica that brought their students here to just celebrate Bob Marley and this is just amazing. Uh, we're going to be having breakfast here as well. Um, we also have merchants, uh, people who came to sell their you know, um, goods have been allowed inside although there are not so many. Uh, this is amazing to see just Jamaican celebrating this legend who needs to be a national hero in Jamaica. I mean, what are you guys waiting for? Make him a national hero already. Who knows where Ghana is? Africa. That young man sitting down there. If you go on YouTube, you're going to see him. His name is Boden Meyer. I tell you, you must go and look him up, you know. He travels all over the world. Give him a round of applause. Young man traveling all over the world and showing us places that we probably don't reach yet are not going to reach and i also want to bless up his beautiful wife she's from remind me of your name trudy trudy and trudy is from kenya right so we have africa representing in here today Aww, so cute. on stage come on you 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 i don't want some passion you introduce them on stage ladies and gentlemen we have the little leaders academy make some noise for them now
this beautiful graffiti on the wall ain't it unique and it tells a story it reminds me of our cars now that you're celebrating bob marley i thought i'd show you some of our cars back in kenya that have bob marley drawn on them Mali usually symbolizes the lion. Look at this. So impressive. Let me know, Jamaicans, why is he usually symbolized the lion? Was that his symbol? Uh, or is there a greater meaning? Because usually, even when you see shots, when you see images of him, they usually draw him with the lion. Um, like him and the lion. Drop a comment. Let me know. So yeah, um, I'm at the back of the house now and this house has been turned into a museum so no one lives inside but it's a museum where people just come and you know learn more about Bob Marley um, yeah so I'm just trying to give you guys a tour behind here we have people who are here displaying you know things to buy oh I wanted a Bob Marley t-shirt maybe I'll get one here hello how are you I'm a youtuber from Africa so I'm showing people what is going on behind here Okay. You know that I hear that his first name was actually Dexter and then Robert. Tell me the whole about it. Hello. What are your children, Robert? Wow. What are your intended? Oh, oh wow. This bag looks so good. Wow. The cape is 
Can you guys believe that this was actually Bob Marley's car? Wow, they've been able to maintain it. It's impressive. Look at this. Whoa, I just want to touch it. <laughs> guys, the guys, I just, they told me they just met and they are making music together. That's so beautiful. I'm inside here and um, I, I can feel chills. Like, you don't understand. Um, this place is telling the story of Bob Marley. There are images of him all around and uh, some explanations. Like this one, for example, it's saying Rita Marley, Judy Mott, and Marcia Griffins were the important component of the Whalers' sound and contributed enormously to their international success. When Bob Marley and Peter left the band in 1974, Bob Marley needed a backing vocalist and was inspired to turn to his wife Rita, Judy uh, and Marcia. The three women who are successful in their careers. Wow. Um, this is interesting. Hey, oh my god. Ooh. Think about how he started off in the Whalers band, how he uh, left the Whalers band, how he met his wife. You know how sorry it's so it's mm, you don't even understand you guys you've gotta come here you have got to come here wow look at that wow guys you know i used to wonder if bob Marley was mixed because of his skin color i used to wonder if he's half black half white so i have learned two things about bob Marley. one is that he was born at nine miles in the parish of saint anne and two that uh, he used to eat natural food and he practiced the rastafarian way of life um, yeah i can't get enough of bob Marley. i don't want to leave this room i just feel like there's just so much to learn so much to take in but unfortunately i've gotta go out because a lot is happening outside and i don't want to miss out so yeah i wonder if he knew that he would make such a big impact in the world and that he would be celebrated the way the world is celebrating him right now did you know <laughs> So we have people here displaying clothes, jewelry, most of it is Bob Marley inspired, African inspired. Yeah, Oh, this route is blocked. Okay. Oh, wow. Hello, how are you? My name is Trudy. I'm from Africa. 
I know you're from Antelope. Oh, you do? Oh, wow. So, I'm gonna come back later ah. and I'll bring it. Hi, how are you? I'm all right, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, we'll be meeting everywhere. Yeah. I'm gonna be with my own. Oh, okay. Nice and purple. Okay. Um, wow, so I'll bring it. Sure. Yes, you have some really nice pieces. Do you want to have a look and see what you like? Or do you want me to pick out something? Hmm, let's see. Let me put this here. Hey, she's telling me to check what I like. Everything is handmade. Everything is handmade. Yeah, I'm the designer. I'm Mama Yashi. Mama Yashi. Mama Yashi. And you're a Jamaican designer. Yes, I'm a Jamaican. First of all, I love your hair. Thank you. How old is this? How old is it? <laughs> Sorry. How old is it? The lux, but I've been. Yes. 20 years. Oh wow. Years. That's so beautiful. Yes. Oh wow. Yeah. Um how what is the essence of this day? To you? What does this mean to you? Yeah. My brother's birthday. It means a lot. You know, he's our unofficial hero, you know, our yeah. spiritual hero. He's a warrior for us because he shows us that you can go out there and be yourself, represent as Rastafari, make your own way and blaze your own path and the world can stand up and know this. So we respect him, we love him for that, we honor him for that. And today we play Bob Marley all day. Oh wow. Um, if people want to reach you, how do they reach you? Okay, um, we're online at mamayashi.com. We have worldwide free shipping. And you can, everything is made to order. So you pick out your stuff online, then I make it, and then I send it out. Oh, nice. Okay, I love this. What kind of style you like, Miss Judy? You like shorts, or you like um, long and flowing? I love shorts. Short. What about these fitted shirts? Oh, this is a back of spandex. Mamayash. Guys, right. which piece do I pick now? I'm spoiled for choice. Yeah, I just met her. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Mama Yashi thing, a larger oh. Kenya. You know? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, sure. I that's a, that's so where I go. Oh, you do? We're worldwide. Oh, I ship wow. worldwide, so I ship all over the world. America. A few people in Kenya. Oh, Not wow. that many, but it's you get it out of Now it will be more. Exactly. Thank so, guys, you, you got to reach out to her. Oh, super Guys, I just saw Elaine. Elaine, oh my god, do you guys know Elaine? Elaine is one of the greatest Jamaican artists that I know. Where is my heart beating? She's collaborated with um, Kenyan artists like Willie Paul. She's a big deal, not just in Jamaica but also in Kenya, and I can see her here. She's part of the media team. Also, she works in radio. And, yeah, I think she's working with the media here. Oh my god, let me see if I can get her. Hello. Hi. How are you? Thank you. I actually wanted to get a Bob Marley shirt, but I'll uh, have them. Bob Marley I'll look shirt around. It's not difficult to obtain. I know, right? <laughs> you know, you know, Elaine, right? That's Elaine. That's what I wanted to tell you. Elaine. Wait, 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 wait. This is one of Kenya's big YouTubers and one of your big fans. Oh my God! Oh my God! Miss Can Judy I hug you? Hi. Oh my God! In here, you know I'm a star. I love you so much. I'm Kenyan. You, you know Kenyans love you. I, I love you. Kenya. Oh my God! Hey. Oh my God! Hey. Oh my God. Hey. Oh my God. Hey.
Bob Marley, the fact that I was born in Trenchtown myself, and I remember my mother taking me to where he was, and the whalers, Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, and, and Bunny Whaler would be practicing as a child. I saw them from when I was very, very young. So it is so awesome for me to be here and and, and share information with my students at Haile Selassie High School about my personal experience with Bob Marley, about my, my growing up in Trenchtown and the contribution that he has made to reggae music. Himself, Peter Tosh, himself, um, Bonnie Whaler and the contribution that they have made in, in terms of, of the wonderful things that they have done. And there's a female that used to be a part of the Whalers mm -hmm. that, you know, most people don't know about her. And she was part of that group originally before the eye trees came along. I'm trying to remember her name. But like, it's so wonderful to be here. Thank you yeah. so much. Yes. So nice to meet you. So nice to meet you too. Hello, how are you? I'm good. What's your name? I'm Kenosha Gibson. Okay, um, what is happening here today? Well, today we're celebrating um, the legend, the icon, Bob Marley's 79th birthday. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and what is the importance of such a day? Well, well the fact that um, we're celebrating somebody who has done so much for this beautiful island, the people, um, you know, the message that he stands for. I mean, it's something that I think we all should embrace and try to emulate. So with that, I mean, it is an important day. And like I said, based on the individual that we're celebrating. You know. Any message to the youth? Um, my message would be one to be obviously authentic to oneself. But in, in that same breath, to try and extend love and kindness um, to others. Thank you so much. No problem. Finally, it's time to taste some finger licking Jamaican breakfast. Hi. What do you want? A cam fish, kalalo, stewed chicken, or mackerel? Kalalo. Kalalo? Now we are having breakfast, and you guys already know Jamaicans take heavy food for breakfast. Maya is having some chicken, um, some plantain, sweet potato, and breadfruit. Is this dumpling? What is this? I, on the other hand, I'm having some kalulu and, uh, you know, potatoes. <laughs> it is going to keep me full the whole day. Welcome to the place of see my face. The wild man right here, the Bob Marley Earth Strong Celebration. We tune in. So tune in to the station and watch the whole nation. Remember Julian Marley, Colors of Royal, Grammy winner. I'm done that. See you again. Oh, nice to meet you. Kenya. Yeah. Joining with social media we were hosted on the biggest reggae station in the world this is amazing when you hear the name Jamaica, the only name that comes into your mind is more mine for me i think it was a prophet it was more like um songs that you break the minds of africans you know emancipate yourself from mental slavery yeah slavery is gone but so many africans are still suffering from mental slavery i feel like you just mentioned a piece of one of the songs here. Yeah. I want to see one of the songs you like. Come with Marley, but you will not be on to like that again. Because obviously, you know that one. Like, here we present. That's why I have my wife here. It's your backup singer. Yeah, yo, baby. You know, one love. One love. One love. Let's get together. Because we see you all over the world. 
flights. I don't know how many flights allowed to reach Jamaica. You never know where out. You're for you. Because there's no direct flight to Jamaica. Yeah. You have to go to so many countries before you arrive. Yes. Yeah. So it took me six years, but I'm here. Finally. Yeah. And you're representing a true form. And here with your queen, Miss Truly. What have you been enjoying so far? Aki and soft. I know the food. Oh. I know the food. Did you have rice and beans? We have it. Yeah? We call it wachi. In wachi? Wachi. In wachi. Yes. Wachi. But one thing that I would take from Jamaica to the motherland mm -hmm. is a plantain for you. Oh, you like it so tasty. Best for it in the whole world. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I think Jamaicans have kept a lot of secrets from us. And since I'm here, I have to reveal all the secrets of the world. Well, guess what happened? It's good that you came. And I, I'm glad you understand that we kept it from you. In order for you to get the secrets, then you have to come here. So welcome. And welcome to the Bobar Museum. Thank you so much. What are you looking forward to most from this from today? I, I think, first of all, I want to touch the guitar that Bobar touched. If yes. I'm allowed, that's the first thing I want to do. But most importantly, to let the world know that Jamaicans are celebrating their own. Mm -hmm. And that is the first step in everything that we do. It's about time we celebrate. People that live in the So, big up Jamaica for celebrating the legend. That's it. Thank you so much, Mr. Shuri. Any final words? I'm so happy to be in Jamaica. You don't understand what Jamaica means to some of us. We have grown up listening to your music. Your musicians are on our cars, they are drawn. It's crazy. Jamaica is big. Your music is big. You have a great influence not only around the world but mostly in Kenya. So, it's a dream to be here. Thank you. Absolutely wonderful. It's a pleasure having you with us. Thank you so much. I know there are so many Africans watching right now. And when I see you and hear from you, I mean, I'm not supposed to do this, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Good morning, morning, my African family. Y'all is here to say that we're going to go back home to the land of the land. Well, you will see us too. Jamaicans are always all over the place, and we're always visiting, always traveling. We'll soon catch you all. If you want to hear with us, we're definitely going to come on over and join with you soon. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Big up, Aries. Big up, Aries. Big up, Aries. You are everybody in your own language. Aries. I say Aries. Big up, Aries. Number one. Number one. Number one. In the world, yeah. in the world, yeah. 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 radio in the station. We got Kyrie FM, the number one radio station in the world. In the